like my husband said, and um, when I was nine years old, I, whew, I fell in love with Jesus. All right. I fell in love with Jesus. I fell in love with Jesus, and um, I was listening to my dad preach, and I went into the hallway, and I fell on my knees, and I said, Lord, just come into my heart. <laughs> Come into my life, and I will serve you with all of me, with all of me. And as I got older, I ended up getting pregnant uh, when I was 19 by my ex-husband. And uh, I had a daughter, and her name was Jasmine, and she was beautiful. She was beautiful. And um, I was four months pregnant, and I went to my doctor's appointment, and they said they had to deliver her because I had a condition called toxemia, and um, if they didn't take her, she would die. So my daughter was born, one pound, 2.5 ounces, and I spent three months going in and out of the hospital, praying, praying, trusting, trusting, praying, trusting. She got bigger and bigger, as you guys can see on the picture. She got bigger and bigger, and she actually made it home. Um, 10 days after she made it home, I put her to sleep, and she never woke back up. I did, I did CPR on her, um, but she just didn't wake back up. Um, it was a hard time for me, but I have a wonderful mother and a wonderful family, and you know, I have God. Um, one, year, one year later, I tried again, two years later, I tried again, and I had my son Jordan. He was born at, one, at four, four months, and he was also born at one pound, 2.5 ounces. Now this time, Jordan was really, really sick, okay? He was really, really sick. He didn't make it out like my daughter did. I spent 28 days in front of the incubator, incubator praying and praying and praying and praying, asking God, please, save my baby's life. Save my baby's life. Save my baby's life. And my, my Nana actually told me, Robin, you're going to have to pray for God's will to be done. And you're going to have to trust in that will. So I went inside a little small room and I prayed. I said, Lord, let your will be done. The next day, my mother went to the hospital and she called me and said, Jordan's heart stopped. I can't begin to explain what I went through. And I cried and I cried and I cried. And I went to the hospital and my wonderful mother was holding him and we held him together. But I felt the spirit of God all over me. Now, I'm not perfect. So it was times where I fell, and I felt hard. I drank, I ran from God, I got upset. I went through all different kinds of emotions. But God, he never let go of me. Not the God I serve. He never, ever let go of me. No matter how far back I try to go, he never let go of me. And I just thank God for that. And I realized something. This joy, this smile on my face, that's what Satan wanted to take from me. He wanted to take my smile. He wanted to take my joy. But I'm here to tell you right now, after everything I faced, my God, Amen. my God is amazing. Yes, he is. So I got a quick poem, and I'll be out your way. It's called My Best Friend. Wrapped up in the world, I'm yelling out, Jesus, Jesus, take me in your arms and hold me. Don't let go of me. My burdens are heavy, but your yoke is light, so I continue to fight. Devil try to stop me, but I'm still beaming with light and might like David and Goliath. I might have failed, but you picked me up, so I never give up. And it's true, I cried. I cried many a night for him to come down and show me his grace. So he can place upon me the wisdom and comfort that was greatly needed in his sweet embrace. When I cried about losing my kids so I can barely breathe, he only said one thing. Follow me. Yeah. Follow me to the windows of your soul and the depths of your heart because that is where he lied. And although the world may deny that he truly exists like he's just a myth, 
I'll be that one that don't plead the fifth. Cause my Lord and Savior is nobody's myth. They sound ridiculous. And it's not about what I feel, it's about what I know. Cause when the world was empty and I needed him, he never let me go. And it reminds me daily through the grace that he shows me. Now I could have chose that wide route that leads to destruction, but the Holy Spirit led me to the road that leads to his blessing. Now lesson after lesson led to conviction, which led to confession and expression of faith and obedience to him. Amen. Yes, he is my best friend. My comfort when I decided to digest my pain in a drink that could have been a habit. But God, he grabbed it, told me my body was a temple so I couldn't have it. Then he Amen. Out of my situation like a magician does a rabbit. Now amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Oh, yeah. I got a second oh, yeah. chance. Now I'm dancing like David dance, and the people that try to deny him have to take a second glance. Oh, Amen. I just can't understand how a woman that should be broken can feel so much joy. Oh, yeah. Amen. But that's who my Savior is. He is joy when joy shouldn't be. He is the pursuit of happiness that dwells inside of me. He is my Savior. My comforter and my best friend. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Amen.